What's up guys, my name is Brian, the owner of Engine Customs and Performance. Today we're going to be upgrading the ignition coils and spark plugs on a Fiat 124 Spider. Now the great thing about this one is it works on all 1.4 liter turbocharged engines. That's going to include the 124 Spider and Abarth, the 500 Abarth and 500T, the Dodge Dart 1.4, 500X 1.4, and of course the 500L. Let's get started. All right, the products we're going to be installing today are going to include a set of brisk racing spark plugs and Bosch ignition coils, which are a direct replacement for the Alfa Romeo 4C. So you may ask yourself, well, why do I need to even replace these components? Well, the reason for that is as you modify your vehicle, you're going to increase horsepower and you're going to increase torque. When you do that, you may experience breakup or misfire at higher RPMs. Well, by replacing the factory components with a set of these plugs and coils, in most cases, you'll eliminate that problem. Now, if you're interested in purchasing a set of these coils or plugs, you can do so directly on our website at enginecustomsandperformance.com. So let's go over the tools you're going to need to get the job done. Check it out. You're going to need a 3 8 inch socket wrench, a couple extensions, a small flathead, a 5 8 inch deep socket specifically for spark plug removal, a 10 millimeter socket, and then optional would be an electric impact. All right, so the first step is we need to remove this cover. There's no tools needed. Just use your hands, pry up, and it pretty much pops right off. So we're gonna set that out of the way. Now I wanna point something out. If you look at the factory coils on a 124, you're gonna see that the connector just go straight across, it's flat. But if you look at the 4C coil, you will see that the connector is angled up. Because of this, you will not be able to reinstall the factory cover. All right, now we need to disconnect the connectors. You're just gonna take a small flat head. So you're gonna see these tabs here, you got this black tab and then this yellow tab here. So I'm gonna take my thumb and I'm gonna Kind of lift up on the black part and then I'm going to take my flat head and push one side forward and then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side and you can see it's going to kind of work itself forward this allows you to be able to remove the connector so I'm going to press down and then the connector is going to come right off so we're going to do the same thing for the remaining three all right, so the next step is we need to remove these four bolts that secure the ignition coils in place. I'm gonna take my 10 millimeter to remove them. Recommend having a little magnetic tray to put your bolts in. Okay, now we need to remove the ignition coils so the best way that I do it is just kind of, don't grab it from up top, just get down as far down as you can and then just kind of wiggle it and then pull up and do the same for the rest. Now I have found on some of these 124s, now this is not the case on this one, but cylinder number two gets stuck, but this one didn't have a problem. Just pull them out like so. Now it's time to remove the spark plugs. How I do that is I take a 3 8 inch socket wrench, couple extensions, and then of course the 5 8 inch deep socket, which is made specifically to remove spark plugs. Let me show you the inside. So as you can see inside, at the bottom of the socket, there is a black rubber piece. This is what grips onto the spark plug and allows you to remove it from the cylinder. All right, now, just take your socket wrench with extensions and deep socket, slide it in, make sure you'll feel it grip onto the spark plug and then break them loose. I would not recommend using an electric impact on this step. Make sure you just use a socket wrench because you don't want to strip anything. And you're going to be doing this for a little while to completely unscrew the spark plug. You may do this and think it's completely loose and you pull this out and there's no spark plug there. So 
Uh, let's see if uh, see if that's enough. And there we go. So there is spark plug number one, and we're gonna do the same thing for the remaining three. the brisk racing spark plugs. So take your socket wrench and extensions, place the plug inside the socket, and press down. That's what keeps it in place because now you can turn it over and it won't drop. So let's put these in. All right, now we're gonna start with cylinder number one, place it inside and then tighten them down. Now the proper torque spec for these plugs is 12 foot pounds. But if you replace spark plugs a lot, you pretty much can tighten these by feeling, which is what I do. But if this is your first time to install spark plugs, I'd recommend using a torque wrench just to make sure the torque properly. But you're gonna feel them after they're all the way put in is it'll start to get tight on you. All right, now it's starting to get tight. So you don't wanna over tighten these because again, they can break, but again, if you've done this enough times, you can do it by feeling. And there we go. And then this comes out, and we're gonna do the same thing for the remaining three. All right, now it's time to put the coils in. Put them in the hole. And you're gonna kind of press down, because it's gonna go over the plug. And then you can go ahead and reconnect the connector. Just press in, you're gonna hear it click and then press the yellow tab in, that's gonna secure it. So we're gonna do that to all four. There we go. All right, now we need to put the bolts back in to secure the coils in place. I would recommend putting the bolt in, feel for it, and then try to screw them in as much as you can by hand, because this is another one that you do not want to end up stripping threads. And this is also one that I would definitely not recommend using an electric impact to tighten them down. Just make sure they're nice and secure. And then just go down the line and screw them in. And that's it. All right, so now that we've got everything installed, we wanna go ahead and start the engine just to make sure there's no check engine lights. We've got a smooth idle. So let's do that now. All right, so we've got no warning lights, check engine lights off, we've got a smooth idle, so it looks like we're good. So this concludes the video on how to install a set of ignition coils and spark plugs onto a 1.4 liter turbocharged engine. If you liked the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and go ahead and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss any future install videos or awesome Lobarth content. And if you're interested in purchasing a set of ignition coils and spark plugs for your vehicle, make sure to hit up our website at enginecustomsandperformance.com. And until next time, I'm out.